All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fabs in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm in the house with the One Wu Studio Camera M Slider here with me for a review. We're gonna analyze the look, the sound and the feel of this little fella, which I love, you know, I'm a photographer. And don't forget to like, to subscribe, to dislike, to enjoy the video, to share, to comment. Uh, it's your video, do whatever you want. It's, you know, you're gonna be happy anyways. I'll be cranking these videos out if you keep enjoying this content because I really love uh, this stuff. And check this out. This guy comes with this classic uh, um, hard case with the two lanyard hole. Maybe you can do like a belt or something here. Uh, but anyways, this is like a hard shell case. Some rubber gasket going on, padded on both sides, and boom, inside you find this little and super cool um, slider. This is the Camera M uh, slider toy. It's, uh, guys, this is a Leica M uh, inspired uh, fidget toy. Beautiful looking uh, slider. This is part of my permanent collection. It's not gonna go anywhere because, uh, yeah, I'm a photographer and it's like being, what, 30 years almost that I'm in the business. And uh, when I saw this one, I'm like, yeah, that's kind of like coming home with me and it's uh, <laughs> it's gonna stay. So uh, stainless steel base, uh, like the frame is stainless steel. You've got uh, some nice detail here. This is like uh, uh, the base uh, made of stainless steel and this is just zirconium polished uh, for the body here and for the lens, uh, um, which is clickable and it slides like that. So it has two functions. You have one clicker here. You have also, of course, another clicker here and you can appreciate the knurled, um, uh, like you can even like, look at that. You can take this apart. You can see the clicker that's uh, replaceable underneath. And here you got the button, which is very, very nicely done. You can just screw that back in and just have it tight so you don't lose it. And then you got this lens, which also is removable like that. So you see, it's an interchangeable lens. Uh, you got uh, uh, over here, so maybe they could do even some more accessories like a telephoto, something longer, I don't know. Um, but anyways, this is a slider. So this guy slides and also has like a stop at the end because these two pins are riding uh, in these two uh, tracks uh, and inside you can see camera M, W and the number. There's a, <coughs> sorry, 199 made and this is the number three. Uh, you get a slot uh, here for like your treat vials, which is just fantastic. Inside you, on the back, you've got your uh, your milling lines for the back plate, uh, for the viewfinder. This is a range finder right over here. So pretty, pretty cool, classic uh, inspired uh, toy. And uh, you got 1.96 uh, inches for the overall length and 1.21 for the height. And uh, the thickest point, this guy is 0.7 uh, inches. And let's quickly check this guy compared to some other stuff. Like for example, you got AC EDC gamer slider here you got Tom EDC uh, Mahjong slider another gorgeous one that's the one Wu studio uh, bulletproof shield and uh, here it's another cool one umbery mid-size haptic coin and that is the Poseidon of course how can I not show you the Lautier shuffle a pair of kings, another fantastic and another classic one. As it's a classic one, the Muji, um, that's the Crucible uh, Spinner. And let me show you another couple, why not? Uh, Kuyu, Timb, um, Haptic and Slider. And last one, but not least, uh, Compoform, uh, Click Bar, right there. So, uh, very, very cool. Let's also check up the weight on this guy because there is some heft to it it's uh it's very it's not super heavy but it's not light look at that 4.69 ounces it's uh there's a lot of material employed here like as i said stainless steel zirconium which is polished it's nicely done the ring below that is kind of like uh, brushed or polished so it has a different feeling uh, finish sorry and uh, 
This guy has one, two, three, and four states. It doesn't go this way because of course of these two pins are stopping right there in those tracks, but you have like four and four magnets to create this pretty cool experience. So as you slide, sorry, maybe like that, you see, you can actually keep clicking as you slide or you can, can just slide it or uh, click it, sorry, or just slide it and it's gonna be nice. So when you get to this point, this guy tends to tip over, you see, but then if you don't do it or, or don't overdo it, it's just going to get snapped back in position and to uh, return into the original uh, state, which is this guy, closed. Super attractive toy, guys. Very nice. Clicking, sliding, uh, feels great in the hand, the sound. It's gorgeous. It's clacky. And you can do also like something uh, less obtrusive, like just by applying a little bit more pressure. But if you want to make noise, yeah, go ahead. Sure. Produce some fancy noise. People are going to be attracted and curious about uh, uh, the uh, noise that you are making. And they're going to ask, what is that? And they're going to love the fact that you have a micro camera slider fidget toy in your pocket. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.